Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's April 20th. We had our last frost, hopefully last night. 10 great days and no frost, that'll get us almost to May. So now it's time to plant some pepper plants. I'm gonna be planting 14 pepper plants into this small space. It's two feet wide, six feet long. These are Vijega metal beds, 32 inches tall. I will link the video that shows you how I built this and fill them in a video description. Now, when it comes to pepper plants, you can plant them a lot more closely together than you may have thought or been led to believe. So I'm not really, planting these closer together and doing something new, I think we've been taught to give pepper plants more space than you need. So I'll show you the basic planting of the 14 pepper plants. And what I'm actually doing is I'm putting in purple, these are all gonna be bell peppers. I'm gonna do purple, red, orange, green, yellow, and chocolate or brown. So I think this is gonna look really cool with almost Christmas ball-like peppers in this space. And it's gonna be really colorful. So, Basic setup, any potting soil or container mix is perfectly fine. If you're making your own, I have lots of videos on it, you want like 50% peat moss, cocoa core, combination of both, and then 50% earth. If you have compost, certainly mix it in there. But let's just proceed with the, that this is just a basic container mix. It hasn't been um, amended with any fertilizer. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the planting hole. When you're growing peppers, I actually even grow them in containers, in a container that's maybe this round, and I put in two pepper plants. The bottom's cut out, it's sunken into the ground. If you wanna subscribe, I'll be doing um, my sunken container garden, planting two peppers in the space. What I learned from that and doing it for years is you can put pepper plants much more closely together than you think. So in this case, I'm gonna put one right here, one right here. I'll have space in the middle. By the time the pepper plants grow and get taller, these lettuces in between will already have been harvested. So it's just one plant, two plant, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we'll go with fourteen. So typically in a space like this, we may be led to believe that we have to put the pepper plants right down the middle and maybe give them two feet in between. And that'd be like one, two, three, four, maybe five pepper plants. Maybe you go a foot and a half, you get in six or seven. That's fine, you can do that if you want. But this is 14 plants going into here. This is plenty of space for pepper plants to grow, develop, and fully produce. So just mark out the basic planting holes. You need any type of organic granular fertilizer. It doesn't matter as long as it has N, P, and K represented. I buy whatever is on sale, and then I actually just throw it into a bucket and mix it through. This is, you know, a couple tablespoons maybe. You don't need a ton. You're just gonna fill up each of the holes with about that much fertilizer. Now the whole key is to never put your plant right on top of the fertilizer. So you wanna just mix it in really nicely, something like that, and then we'll be dropping the pepper plant in. So I'm gonna put the organic granular about that much in each of the holes. If you feel like more phosphorus or potassium may help your pepper plant. Some people may then put in maybe a tablespoonful of bone meal. That's just higher in phosphorus or some other ingredients. You don't need more. You know, I wanna show you the basics and this will definitely get you producing pepper plants. After this is set up, we'll go to the planting. I'll show you how to do that. I also use fish emulsion. That's a 511 NP and K. So I'm gonna water this in with a nice water soluble fertilizer and that nitrogen will help to get these plants growing. Over the season, we could top dress, we could give them more water soluble, but pepper plants do pretty well just for a basic setup in the beginning and then you kind of let them grow. When they're about halfway to size and they start producing, you really don't want to jack up more nitrogen because you get a lot more leaf growth. Just kind of let the pepper go. But again, if you subscribe, I'll show you how these grow, I'll show you the harvest, and I'll show you how I care for them as they're developing. So for today, granular fertilizer, you know, couple tablespoons, just mix it in really, really well. What I like about these 32 inch raised beds is it's really easy on my back. Also, rabbits can't get in here. Frost could come, you know, we're in Maryland, sometimes frost comes all the way up to May 15th, but I'm just starting these in a small space so it will be easy for me to protect them. So that the way that I'm starting dropping the peppers is I'm starting with a green, chocolate, yellow, red, orange, purple, I think. So I'm zigzagging them across and I just want to mix the colors up nicely. Brighter colors in between the darker colors, but I think this is going to look beautiful.
planting is pretty simple. We mix the granular fertilizer in and you're just going to want to come maybe a quarter inch or half an inch above the surface of the starting mix over your seed start. So you just kind of set it up. Again, I'm doing this one hand. If I can do it one hand, you can do it two handed. You can loosen the roots if you want. Just set it in and then you kind of just backfill around it. Press it in and that's all you do to set up you know something like this. Let me get all the peppers in. We'll get to watering, talk a little bit more about taking care of the pepper plants. And again, 14 pepper plants in here and I guarantee if you subscribe and follow this is going to be great production, they're going to be big plants and they're not going to be stressed by maybe being planted more closely together than you think they can to really thrive and grow. The next step is to give them a water soluble fertilizer and when something's water soluble that means the plant can use it right away. So this is immediately going to give the plants nitrogen so we want them to get growing right now. The organic granular is a slow release and that will slowly give nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium to the plant over time. So just follow whatever instructions you have for your water soluble. This is two gallons and I just want to show you how much I put on because that's always a question people have. Plant one, something like that. Hit the uh, lettuce a little bit. Plant two, something like that. And two gallons is plenty to take care of these plants. So after I put this on, I'm going to water everything in really well. And then maybe in four weeks, five weeks, I'll hit them again with the water soluble fertilizer and I'll probably just let it go. What I want to show you is that you can really plant these closely together. Again, we have 14 plants in this two foot by six foot space and you don't have to go crazy with the fertilizers. Peppers just need the basics to get going. You could do more if you want, but this is the basic. It's a good way to save money by not giving your plants more than they actually need. All right, watering is up next. I have a lot of pepper plants. This year I'm growing more of what I enjoy. Pepper plants are relatively disease and pest free here in Maryland. So I'm going to be growing a lot of peppers and I love to, to eat them. In here I'm going to be doing a single row so that I can continue to plant around the outside of the pepper plants. And I'm going to do six or eight shishito peppers because I like just coming, picking a bunch of them, mixing them with some olive oil, um, some fish sauce, and grilling them. So I want six or eight shishitos in there and I will show you how I do that. Same setup. I mean, if you want to watch another video, you certainly can. But it's going to be the same basic setup. The design difference is that I'll be able to continue to plant things around the outside. Bunching onions or different crops to go along with the peppers in here. And again, I must have 50, 75 pepper plants. Please subscribe. I'll be showing you how I plant up and take care of this entire garden. So the next step is watering the plants. Well, watering is pretty simple, you know, gentle shower, really soak it in. This will moisten all the organic granular fertilizer in there. That will start the microbiology process of that breaking down the, the organic granular. It also help wash in some of the fish emulsion, but all this fertilizers, fertilizers right at the root system of the pepper plant. That's what you want. And just really soak it in. So I will water these plants again in five to seven days. They are transplants, they are a little bit bigger, but you wanna just make sure you keep the soil moist until they really get larger root systems and then they're pretty much good to go. We get a lot of rain here. So again, water these in about five to seven days and just make sure the top four inches of the soil is not drying up. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and plant peppers more closely together, you'll get more yield, more production, save space, and it's a lot of fun. And you don't have to spread these out all over the garden. If the frost comes, I can just take care of these 14 plants pretty easily by putting a plastic cover right across the top. Thanks for watching.